So welcome everybody to this latest video 162 Matt and in this video we'll be going over some past GCSE exam questions related to Best Buy. Now as always I'll include a copy of the questions that we go through in this video as a link in the description along with a lesson that goes through this topic in greater detail. Now with Best Buy questions these questions are related to proportion particularly the unitary method which is where you first work out the price of one and then use this to find the price of a different quantity or use to compare. Now to compare you can either do quantity per price or quantity per pound where you do quantity divided by price or you can do price divided by quantity which is price per quantity. Now it doesn't really matter which one you go for but make sure you're using one or the other not both for two different things and again the clue in which one you do is in how you read it so quantity per pound quantity is your numerator per means divide and then your price is your denominator and if you're doing price per quantity price is your numerator per means divide and quantity is your denominator. Now it's really important and makes the question easier if you can picture the question, understand your work in its context and the final answer. Now in this topic, most marks are awarded for clear working out rather than your final answer. And it's really important that you do show full working out. And if a question is worth three marks, you show three levels of working out before writing your final answer. Contrary to students, predictions you do not get full marks if you just guess correctly you have to back it up with the mathematics now a little reminder that if you're wanting access to these questions all you need to do is just simply click on the link in the description so looking at question one it says five liters of paint cost £18.75 how much is this per liter so what we want to do is work out the price per liter so we're going to do 18.75 per means divide and then we have the liters underneath so here we're doing 18.75 divided by 5, which gives me an answer of 3.75. Then for question 1b, it says 250 grams of butter cost £1.90. How much will 100 grams of butter cost? So for this, we're going to do £1.90 divided by 250, which will work out the price of 1 gram. And then we multiply the answer by 100 because we want to know 100 grams. And if I type that all into my calculator, I get an answer of 0 0.76 or 76 pence. Moving on to 1C, it says a box of cereal costs £1.78. There is a special offer where you buy one, get one for 50% off. How much will it cost to buy two boxes of cereal? So for this, we're going to buy one at full price plus one at half price, so £1.78 divided by two gives me an answer of 0 0.89. And if I add those two amounts up, I get an answer of £2.67. Then mo moving on to 1D, it says six tomatoes cost 78 pence. How much will 25 tomatoes cost? So I'm going to do 0 0.78, because I'm going to work in pounds, divided by six, so that will work out the price of one tomato, and then I multiply that by 25, in which I get an answer of £3.25. Moving on to question 2a, it says which is better value? And it says three peppers at £1.20 or one pepper 39 pence. So for this, if I then do £1.20 divided by 3, that comes out to as 0 0.40, which is 40 pence. So comparing the two prices, which one is going to be better value? Well, it's going to be the one pepper for 39p. Then moving on to 2b, it says which is better value? 160 tea bags for £3.45 or 70 tea bags for £2.30. So for this, I'm going to work out how many tea bags you get for one pound. So for this, I'm going to do three pound, sorry, I'm going to do 160. divided by £3.45 and that equals 46 bags for £1. Then if I do the same calculation, so 70 divided by £2.30, I get an answer of 30 bags for £1. So which would I prefer if I had £1? I'm going to go for the 160 tea bag pack. So 160 tea bags. Then for 2C, it says which is better value, 450 mils of washing up liquid for £1.35 or 950 mils of washing up liquid for £2.95. Now again, you can either do quantity divided by price 
or price divided by quantity but make sure you're doing the same calculation for both and make sure you fully understand what it is you're actually working out so if I do 450 mil divided by £1.35 and I type that into my calculator and I get an answer of 333.3 mils per pound. Then if I do the same calculation for the other, I get 950 mil divided by £2.95. I get an answer of 322.2, actually just 322 mil. Per pound so which one's better value it's going to be the 450 mil then moving on to question three it says that Paula wants to buy 30 candles for an event they normally cost four pound each she sees special offers for the following websites all with free delivery which offer is the best value and now it doesn't say we can shop at different shops so when you can only order from one website so looking at candles plus basically I'm getting buy three get one free so if I then work out how many fours go into 30 in which there's going to be seven and this is what I'm talking about in terms of picturing The situation so here I've got 30 candles or represented with circles and I'm gonna get for every three I buy I'm gonna get one free so the ones I'm shading in are the ones I'm not gonna be paying for so with candles plus I'm gonna be buying 23 candles so if I do 23 times 4 that comes up to a cost of 92 pounds then if I do the second offer which is 20% off all candles so this is candles let me use a different color so candles sale I'm going to do 30 times 4 which is 120 and then I'm going to knock 20% off so I multiply that by 0 0.8 and that comes up to a total of 96 pounds then I do the next shot which is candles extra now for this I'm going to buy one get one half price so basically I'm going to pay 15 full price and 15 half price so that's going to be four pound and that's going to be two pounds so it's going to be 15 times 4 plus 15 times 2 and that comes up to a total of 90 pounds so then comparing the three amounts which one's cheapest it's going to be candles extra there we go then moving on to question four it says toilet rolls are sold in the following types of packs and we've got standing we've got extra large standard come in six rolls 220 sheets per roll at three pound 45 and extra large is 12 rolls with 330 sheets per roll for eight pound 40 and the question is asking which type of pack has the lower cost per sheet so cost per sheet is the price divided by the number of sheets so for the standard I need to work out how many sheets I've got so the sheets is going to be 6 times 220 which is 1320 sheets so then the calculation for that then is going to be £3.45 divided by 1320 and that comes up to an answer of 0 0.00261 and that is price Per sheet so basically it's going to cost 0.2 of a pence per sheet then if I then work out the extra large so again the number of sheets is going to be 12 times 330 which is 3960 sheets and then if I then do the price which is £8.40 divided by 3960 
I get an answer of 0 0.00212 per sheet. So as you can see, the prices are quite similar, but we then got to look further beyond the decimal point. So here you can see that extra large is going to be the better value. And there we go. Then moving on to our final question, it says that Sheena needs to buy 128 cans of cola for a party. It is on sale in three different shops in three different size packs. All of the cans are the same size. What is the cheapest way to buy enough cans for the party? You can buy from more than one shop and you must show you're working out. Now this question, I'll be honest, is really stingy for three marks and should be worth generally a lot more. Let me just go back as the questions reset so there we go so from this and it does say that we can buy from multiple shops so let's first of all work out the price per can from each shop so for the first one for shop a it's going to be 20 uh, two pound or oh, 12 pound 50 divided by 24 and that comes up to a cost of roughly around 52p per can then if I then do shop B, well, in, to include the offer, I'm getting, if I buy one, get one half price, and the total price is going to be £9.99, because you're buying one for 6 66 another for 3 33 and that's for 20 cans. And that comes up to 50p per can. Then if I then work out shop C, well, that's going to be relatively easy because it's £4.80 divided by 8, which comes up to a cost of 60p per can. So as you can see, what I'll try and do is max out the number of cans from shop B and then either use shop A or shop C to then work out the rest of what's, which is going to be best. So looking at shop B, I can, I'm buying in packs of 20, so to say. So let's work out the different combinations we could have. So one possible combo. So let's write combo one. Is I'm going to buy 120 cans from A. Don't know why I wrote four there. So 120 cans from A, and then eight cans from C. Now 120 cans from shop B, well 20, 120 divided by 24 goes in nicely and that comes up to an answer of 5. So it's going to be 5 times £12.50 plus £4.80. And if I type that into my calculator, I get an answer of £67.50 and 30 pence so then if i then work out another combination so combo two so combo two i'm going to get 16 packs from shop c and where i've got 16 from is 240 divided by 8 from shop c so that's going to be 16 times four pound 80 which comes up to a cost of £76.80. Then if I go for the cheapest option, now the cheapest option is going to be, so if I just write combo three, and the cheapest option is getting 12 packs of 10 from shop B. And so that's going to be uh, six packs of 20 for 9.99 plus eight cans from shop C. Now if I do that, it's going to be six times nine pound 99 plus four pound 80, which if I work that out, gives me an answer of 64 pounds 
and 74 pence which is the cheapest so your final answer is going to be 12 packs of 10 from shop B and one pack of eight from shop C but the cheapest price that you can work out to get 128 cans is going to be 64 pounds and 74 pence